Taiwan's military R&D center has built a lower body exoskeleton that can improve soldier endurance on the battlefield. The power exoskeleton supports the lower body, taking strain, uh, strain off soldiers' knees and helping them carry heavy loads. The research center is also working on another exoskeleton to help soldiers with even heavier loads of up to 100 kilograms. With a 10-kilogram bumper plate in each hand, he squats and lunges effortlessly. It's all thanks to the support of a powered exoskeleton developed by the National Zhongshan Institute of Science and Technology. It helps with squatting and standing movements. When you crouch, the system supports you almost as if you were sitting on a chair. When you stand up, it detects your movements and it helps you pushing you up, so you can lift up heavier objects. In early 2020, the National Zhongshan Institute of Science and Technology launched a four-year project to develop powered exoskeletons for military use. The equipment is aimed at enhancing troop efficiency on the battlefield and decreasing fatigue. After nearly two years of development, the institute has unveiled a lower body exoskeleton that can increase muscle stamina and reduce strain on the knees by half. Actually, right now I'm wearing most of my military gear. The exoskeleton can be integrated. This is an issue we investigated quite a bit. There's a good degree of integration with our military gear. When designing the battery, we had to consider both longevity and safety. This design can prevent heat propagation. To keep the system powered, we made it so it supports hot swapping. So when you're out of battery, you can quickly put in a new one without powering off the system. The institute is also developing another lower body powered exoskeleton that can help troops carry loads of up to 100 kilograms. Soldiers operating mortars need to carry mortar bases, which are very heavy. We want to find ways to lighten the load that soldiers have to transport. It could also be used to transport ammunition, such as the shells for the 105 millimeter howitzers. Previously, two to four people would be required to transport them. We're investigating whether using an exoskeleton can lighten the load during transport. Amid the evolving threat landscape, Taiwan is developing more of its own military technology to boost the capabilities of its troops on the battlefield.